are you? I'm fine, and I'm happy, and I'm excited, and I just feel like so rejuvenated and so happy. And <laughs> guys, I don't know if some of you guys are like spiritual or anything like that. Like if you guys, you know, believe in God or anything, but if you don't, you should. If you don't or don't want to, that's none of my business. I just think that you totally should. I just got done listening to, do uh, you ever listen to like Joyce Myers and T.D. Jakes? If you guys are spiritual, like truly like, believe in God and you know, just want to feel happy and like you need a message and like you feel like life is just pushing you down and like you just feel like everything you're doing is completely wrong, like... You get me? Like, you just feel super down, and nothing you do is making life better. I suggest for you guys to seriously start listening to uh, T.D. Jakes and Joyce Myers. Women, you most likely would prefer Joyce Myers, but, I mean, either way, T.D. Jakes is just absolutely amazing as well. Every time I listen to them, I get fed, and I just feel happy, and my spirit is happy, and I just feel really ecstatic now. I'm not trying to, you know, hurt anybody's feelings or make anybody feel uncomfortable, but just, I mean, just listen to them, listen to them just one time, and I promise you, you guys will not be disappointed. Like, every time I listen to them, I just feel so much better. I feel like, I just feel like a brand new person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I unfortunately don't go... Or have like a set church so I don't go to church like every Sunday unfortunately which is something I need to start looking into but I I get to like just receive a message or like a word or like just cleanse my spirit through like listening to you know like their sermons or like reading and things like that and I always find that those two though they really really truly feed my soul so or my spirit and I just feel like I get my answers all the time from God. Every time I listen to them, I feel like I always get a message and I always receive what I want to know. And it just makes me feel so much better. Like, you guys have no idea, like, how amazing I, I like, feel right now. I feel so happy. Like, so happy. I feel like I can conquer the world and I'm just, like, really ready to just, like, take over the world. <laughs> Well, not take over, like some weird creep, but just, you know, I just feel happy. But anyways, enough with, like, you know, promoting them because I'm not getting paid to promote them. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to get on here and actually I'm really starting to throw things away and I'm actually packing because I'm going on vacation with my family for a couple of days. I will be leaving Saturday. And I won't be back home until Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that, where we had decided to, like, rent a place, and we are going to the beach and relaxing and just having some time away. Um, hopefully, it's not going to rain, please, um, because it's, say, it's stating that where we're going down to, I think we're going to Maryland. We're going down to Maryland, and it's stating that for the next five days or something like that, it's going to, like, pour horrendously. So I'm kind of, like, a little bummed about that. But either way, I really don't care because even if we're stuck inside, at least we're not home. Not saying that I don't want to be home, but, you know, we just really need some time away, some time just to, like, relax and enjoy just time together. You know what I'm saying? So, in the meantime, I'm packing and things like that, and I'm starting to throw things away. So, I realized I have this disgusting bag of trash, well, still sitting here. And I was supposed to throw this bad boy away, but I've been saving it because I wanted to share with you guys some of my product empties. And I finally, like, have the chance to do it instead of just putting garbage in a bag and holding on to it. Like, if it was going to throw itself away. <laughs> So I'm just going to start off with the first thing that comes up, and this is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment, and you can purchase this at wherever they sell Living Proof. <laughs> I got mine at Sephora, and this bad boy is $42, I want to say. 
to the 42 close to like 50 I know that for sure and it was just a nice deep conditioning uh, treatment and as you can see it's clearly all gone and I really enjoyed using this deep mask treatment however I really used it when uh, my hair was like super blonde remember when my hair was blonde before I like chopped it off to like this and it really did help with conditioning my hair adding shine making it soft making it more manageable less frizzy everything like that the only thing is is that it's freaking expensive I'm not gonna lie it's worth every penny and I definitely will repurchase this but I'm on the hunt to find different masks so that I'm not spending forty seven dollars on it but I mean it is a good mask though so yeah I use that up next I have I now have two of the Garnier Fructis hairsprays I'm sorry I looked at my phone I have two of the Garnier Fructis style hairsprays the first one is sleek and shine the anti-humidity hairspray and it just looks like this it has like the orange stripe on it and I liked it I don't remember what I use it for I think it's just like a light hold I used to use it more towards like the beginning of the summertime where it got like super warm and you know how like it gets like super humid I don't know like around June so I used it around that and I also use the extreme control anti-humidity spray um I like this one but to tell you the truth I actually like this one just a little bit better because it added shine as opposed to this it's kind of made my hair just a little bit like hard and like crunchy in a way sorry if my bottles just look really gross and really disgusting unfortunately where I live I have hard water and I tend to leave my bottles in there and this is what they end up looking like. I don't know. It's like really weird. But I used up the Total Repair Restoring Shampoo. Now this isn't my first one. I think this has to be actually like my second second or third one I want to say. Because I know I purchased a big one of these and that bad boy is gone. Or maybe there's still a little bit in the shower. I don't know because I have like a million of them open. But anyways, I used this and I also used it paired up with the Restore Conditioner as you can see. And I really enjoyed using them together. I did find that it made my hair feel really soft, really nice, really moisturized. However, I tried to like use it every so often. Like mix it with a different shampoo and conditioner because I find it that if I used it back to back for like a whole month, my hair would get like super used to it and it wouldn't work. So I would have to like keep moving back and forth. And then I ended up purchasing the bigger size because I love the conditioner. The shampoo wasn't too much of my fave. I'm a person that I like to use just mix and match sometimes. And I don't know. I feel like with this though you need all like five steps together. But I ended up purchasing the bigger size of conditioner because I find myself using the little one over and over and over again. Because I have like a million shampoos. But yes, that's that. And I would repurchase this. It's just right now I'm taking a break from it. Because I want to try something else. Again, I don't want my hair to get too used to it. I also used up the Nexus Salon Hair Care Pro Men Split and Binding Daily Conditioner. And my bottle is just really just gross. I can't wait to throw this sucker out because it just looks gross. But um, I used it. It is pretty pricey. It's on the pricier side. And for the price, I feel like it did a good job. Um, again, this is one of those products that you can't use on a date. It says daily conditioner, but I find that if you used it too much, like on a daily situation, it kind of made your hair feel really like too soft and like you couldn't style it and it just kind of fell and just made your hair really heavy. That's what it did. It made your hair feel really heavy. But every other day or every three days, I used to use this and I find it that it was okay. The other mask I used was by Pantene Pro-V. And this is the Restore Beautiful Length Replenishing Mask. And it says it resists breakage for longer hair. And I used to use this in uh, opposite weeks of when I used to use the Living Proof. Just so that I can hold on to the Living Proof. For like every friggin penny but I used to use this and to be honest like it's okay for how much it is it's not my favorite thing in the world and I wouldn't purchase it though so that's that this is the first aid beauty face cleanser and it has with fab antioxidant booster whatever uh, this is basically a face cleanser from first aid beauty and I use a whole one of these 
one of the, what? I don't know. But I use this bad boy up. It is a nice face cleanser. It is nice and gentle like on your face. It suds up. It makes you feel like your face is actually clean. However, if you get this bad boy in your eye, your eyes are going to burn. So that's why I don't know why it's called a gentle cleanser. It Does it say gentle? I think so. I don't know. But it's supposed to be a gentle cleanser, but it burned the crap out of my eyes. <laughs> and also, I didn't find that it removed all of the makeup properly. I still would have mascara, but if I ran it over with a Clarisonic, everything would completely come off. So, I mean, it's either keep mascara on or burn your eyes. Keep your mascara on or burn your eyes. Burn my eyes, I think. I don't know. It's like, I'm just kidding. But it's it's nice, and it's nice for uh, sensitive skin as well. I've also used up the Clean and Clear Finishes Mattifying Cleanser Oil-Free Super Absorbing Mineral Complex Cleanser. I don't know. I think I just keep reading like the whole thing. But it just looks like this. I have no idea if they still even like make this because I purchased this at a discounted store. Yeah, I purchased this at where they sell like discounted uh drugstore makeup and i mean i use it i liked it well no actually no i actually hated this what am i talking about i liked it this thing actually felt like weird if you put it on your face it kind of felt like it was going to be like a mask ish because i think it says yeah it says leave on like your face for a minute before rinsing it and then that's it but i find it that when you used to put it on and leave it on, it felt like a mask, but it just felt like weird and goopy and just like really thick and heavy. And I actually find it that when I used to use it, my, I felt like my oils would like just pour out even more, even though it was like a mattifying like cleanser. I couldn't use this at night because in the morning I would be spilling. Throughout the day, I do admit it kept me a little bit more matte, but it just felt super weird. And then towards the end, I want to say it was probably like this much. Like around here and I don't know maybe water must have gotten into it or something I don't know but it felt like really goopy and watery and it just got really nasty and just oh it was nasty but it's not my fave so I wouldn't repurchase it no I used up the clarifying cleanser by Murad and this has the 1.5 salicylic acid acne treatment in it now I have a little sample size because I was able to try it out for a trial and I do have to say that I definitely enjoy this cleanser this cleanser definitely made my skin feel super clean super nice after I would wash my face even with the Clarisonic and without a Clarisonic my skin would feel like it was breathing the only thing is is that the minute I hit the air if you're not super oily or you don't have acne prone skin you really do not need this if you're dry stay away from this because as soon as my skin would hit the air it would just like <gasps> like like I don't even understand it. It was just like elastic was like pulled on my face or plastic. I don't know, like saran wrap. And it was just like, and my face just felt like, oh my gosh. So I would have to put moisturizer right away. I would use a beauty oil and moisturizer. Like that's how dry it would make my skin. Let me tell you something though. I didn't have any breakouts or anything like that. And I didn't notice that it cleared up my blackheads too much. But once I stopped using it, then I realized it did clear up my blackheads a lot compared to what they were before. Another face wash I used was the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And this is the little baby sample size because I used to have the full size or medium size. I don't know. One of those sizes. But I used it all up and I absolutely loved it. So and then I threw that back. I think I showed you guys that in like the last like product empties or something like that. But whatever. I have like the little sample size and I definitely love this cleanser. It's really nice. And I do find that it cleanses my face and removes a lot, a lot of makeup. On to a face mask. Now I have used the Botanics, the Power of Plant Ionic Clay Mask Shine Away. I don't know, this is like a weird name, but it looks like this. You guys probably remember this bad boy from my Vox Box video, and I had explained that I really did enjoy this mask. This is pretty much like a super, super, super inexpensive version of, I want to say, what can come close to, which is not exactly like it, so don't listen. It's not exactly like it, but it comes close to, towards it in like a drugstore way. This kind of... It reminds me, I want to say, of the Glam Glow. The only thing is that it doesn't exfoliate. Does it exfoliate your skin? 
I don't remember if it had like little beads in it to actually like exfoliate your skin like the Glam Glow Mask. But I remember that it did like suck out all of like my blackheads and impurities from my skin. And it did a pretty damn good job, guys, for something that sold at Target. Um, I just found that out, by the way, too. I found out that it was sold at Target. I have not seen it anywhere else, but I have seen it at Target. And the, I think the price at Target's like $10, I want to say, as opposed to the Glam Glow, which is $65 plus tax you know what I'm saying <laughs> but try this sucker out let me know what you guys think and yeah then on to face serums now I have used up two little mini babies of the Ula Henriksen truth serum this contains collagen boost oh truth serum collagen booster this contains a uh, potent vitamin C complex and let me tell you guys Seriously, I guess I can show you guys a little bit closer. Don't mind my nails. I'm going to get them done, I promise. Um, but the bottle just looks like this. I really enjoy the fact that it has a pump up top so you're not dipping into anything or anything unsanitary. Uh, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. If you have really like, no, I don't want to say saggy skin, but saggy skin or you feel like your skin is starting to look sallow and like, ooh, and it's starting to lose like the elasticity in it, I would definitely suggest for you to use this because this really brightens up your skin and it also has the collagen booster in it which is going to help reproduce collagen inside the skin. It's going to make you feel, uh, your skin feel really plumpy and healthy and just look youthful. And let me tell you, at first when you try it, you're like, ah, I don't see a difference, I don't see a difference. But when you stop using it, you're like, oh no, you can feel it. Like, you feel it. It's crazy. Just pay attention to your skin once you start, once you don't use it, then you start using it, then you stop using it, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. I need that bad boy in my life. It just adds such radiance and brightness into the skin, and it just gives you, like, that really super glow, like, from within, and you just look healthy, and I'm telling you, you're going to thank me later when you try this bad boy. Um, should I go on to oils or moisturizers? Uh, let's just do oils. Another oil or another product from Ula Hamilton that I really, really enjoyed using was the Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. Again, I have a little baby size. And this actually contains the Truth Serum inside here. And it's mixed with an oil and it pretty much does the same thing that the Truth Serum does except it's more hydrating and it's lightweight. And it just helps you look really healthy, really glowy from within again. And it's just really, really nice. Again, reproduces collagen and everything. And it has like all of these omegas like 3, 6, and 9, vitamin C and A. <clears throat> I mean, like this stuff was awesome. I used to wear this at night though because if I put this on top of like the Chew Serum, it was just too much brightness and I look like Mariah Carey after sun tanning or after she gets a spray tan you know what i'm saying and she looks super yellow so it was like uh, like i look like a flashlight seriously i look like a flashlight so i used to just wear this at night just to help bring brightness into my skin because i like to look bright everyone likes to look bright but yeah if i use that with the true serum it was just too much yellow and i'm not no flashlight 